Coming up on ABC 27 News at noon, should the conceal and carry law for guns apply to all 50 states? There's a push to make that happen the latest at noon. A cold start to the day. What about the rest of the weekend? Dan's forecast at noon. Good morning, I'm James Cromwell. Coming up on ABC 27 News at noon, a big blow for President Donald Trump. His temporary travel ban is banned. A federal appeals court striking it down, but the president vows to keep fighting. Should laws allowing you to carry a concealed weapon be the same all across the country? Congress is looking into that. Mark Hall is telling all sides on that one. And a frigid start to the day. We'll tell you why that's good news in Carlisle. Plus, Dan has your weekend forecast. It's all next at noon. Well, Carlisle's Ice Fest remains solid this weekend, the forecast at 5, plus a closer look at the sensors of newer vehicles. If they are covered up by dirt and grime, your safety may be in jeopardy. Well, you find them and clean them at 5. A department store chain based in the mid-state now looking at selling locally made products. Details at 5 and at 6. Natural gas drillers have avoided new state taxes, but why? A state lawmaker suggests quid pro quo. Dennis Holmes reports at 6. How to find and clean car sensors at five. Gas drillers have avoided new taxes, but why at six? Just ahead after Judge Judy. What icy artwork is underneath here and all around Carlisle? We'll show you coming up. After announcing three mid state stores will close, more cuts could be coming for Sears and Kmart. Plus, some of these guys say I've been waiting 60 years for this. How third graders are showing mid-state veterans they care and why they need your help. And restaurant report, the violators in Cumberland, Dauphin, and Franklin counties this week at 5. Tonight at 5, following breaking news in Dauphin County, a tractor trailer slams into a house. What caused it and the impact on the roads? Plus, why one investigation is pushing a local police department's budget over the edge. How it will pay for it and the impact on the people who live there. Plus, keeping you healthy, can a spice help you heal? Doctors weigh in on this growing health trend and a warmer weekend on the way, tracking some showers to go with it. Those stories and more coming up on ABC 27 News at 5. Coming up after Judge Judy. Some Bonton stores have launched a close to home shop inside their stores. We'll tell you how your merchandise could end up on the shelves. And here's Lewis with a look at traffic. Hey Val, we're looking at significant delays around the Capitol Beltway. Two crashes on 83, slowing things down a bit near the Paxson Street exit and then at the Eisenhower Interchange. Join us at 5 for the latest. Coming up on the top 7 at 7, the latest on cleanup efforts after a big rig slams into a Swadera Township home. We'll have a live update. And police and state college continue investigating the death of a Penn State student. What detectives believe played a role at 7. Coming up tonight at 11, we're going to take you to a special needs prom, guaranteed to put a smile on your face. Also working for you, did you buy your child a Disney light spinner wand? They're being recalled, and we've got a warm-up on the way. Yeah, but it is going to be cloudy. We'll have everything you need to know coming up at 11. A tractor trailer smashed into a mid-state home tonight at 11. An update on how long repairs are going to take. It's not going to be fast. And how this happened. And in the weather, sounds like two changes are in store this weekend. Warmer and rain, not snow, coming your way. All the details at 11. A tractor trailer crashes into a mid-state home tonight. A special needs prom. Get ready to smile at 11. A cloudy weekend, but a mild one at 11. Coming up on ABC 27 News at 11, continuing coverage of a tractor trailer crashing into a mid-state home. The driver's in the hospital. The home is in bad shape. The system is rigged, so says a state lawmaker, talking about the state legislature and Pennsylvania's natural gas industry, why he thinks the industry gets to function tax-free. And two changes coming in the weather this weekend, rain and warmer temperatures. Ryan will break it down next. Coming up next, remember the Army's runaway blimp? It landed in Lycoming County, causing a lot of damage. Tonight, who's not going to pay for it? Also, Arby's looking into a credit card data breach. This could affect 
hundreds of thousands of customers.